Uh, follow her, by the way, on Happy Go Sucky. That's not a sexual Instagram. That is about succulents, the plants. Yo, what's good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That is the Everyday City Carry. And I'm going to answer uh, a quick question. I already talked about it a little bit in my comments section. This one goes out to Mark H., who's probably the first person who was like, Hey, man, what's, what's your EDC every day? You know, um, what do you carry every day? What's your top EDC? And I, I don't really talk about this topic that much um, because I don't have a lot of loot and I don't have a lot of gear. So it's not like I change my pen out and my pry bar out like every day. I don't do a lot of pocket dumb videos for that reason, but I've never really done one. So I'm going to do one right now. So let's get to the tabletop. And as you can see, what the? I got woods, bro. I got wood now. I got wood. Look at this. I'm just playing. This is not wood. I think this is like like porcelain or some shit, but it looks really good on camera. Or at least I think it does, and I'm going to try it for today. I'm going to be posting a lot of Instagram pictures on this fake-ass wood that Kelly bought for her plant thing. Uh, follow her, by the way, on Happy Go Sucky. That's not a sexual Instagram. That is about succulents, the plants. And, you know, it's a pretty funny name. A little play on words there, but you can follow her. I'll link her up little page on the bottom of this video but yeah let's get to it man so my main EDC is of course gonna be a knife right and um, what I carried yesterday was this Benchmade 940-1 in carbon fiber S9DV blade and this one uh, shout out to seems logical for sending this one in this is what I carried yesterday and this is pretty much the only thing that may change every day even though I like to carry a knife for a couple of days usually from especially if I'm gonna make a video on it and uh, this is what I carried yesterday so this is pretty much the main thing I'm always gonna have a knife and I have like one main knife I don't have backups usually um, I do have oh shit I should probably show you that I do have a, a Kershaw pub on my neck at all times in case I you know maybe I was flip flipping the knife around that I have and I left it on the table by accident or something like that and then I need to cut something and I moved somewhere else into in the shop or wherever I am this is a perfect knife for that it's cheap there's different colors look how look how rusted this is already yo. I've had to clean this mad times um, and I think that's because of what's on uh, the chain I have this like keychain type thing if you know a better solution for this guys something that's not gonna rust let me know um, but it needs to be able to get on to this thing there's no clasp this just fits around my head but yeah the Kershaw pub is a good one that I always carry because it's inexpensive it looks cool um, you know that's just one of the things that I always have on me and this necklace or this uh, chain or whatever so this pocket sheath if you guys have been staring at this this is what I carry in my right pocket so I used to put my knife in here, but then I noticed like it might get messed up with the items inside by getting scratched. So I've started to leave the knife, like this 940 for example, right outside here. And that fits in my skinny jean pocket, bro. It's roomier on the inside than the outside. Um, <laughs> but yeah, th this this little sheath, I got it from Etsy. If you guys are interested, I can link it below. Um, let me know, and I'll put that up in another video or something. But let's take a look at the items that I have inside. So I have this Olite. I always forget which model this is. I think it is the... Let me look. It says EOS. Damn, I can't even read that anymore, dude. It says, uh, I can't read it, <laughs> but it is a handy little light that I like carrying on here and not my keys because my keys, uh, I'll show you in a second, are on a chain in my other pocket. And it's just been really useful, man. I've told this story before, but I got in the shop and I was about to take a leak. I really had to pee. It's like an over hour train ride to get to, you know, Ala CBD, shout out to Ala CBD. And then the lights just shut off. Like before the before the drift even happened out of the pee pee, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh no. And then what I did was went and took it took the O light out of my sheath, 
and then that's it i just went like this i left it like on the sink and it was like showing me where i should piss and it was all good so this is a handy little light that fits in the sheath right here which is kind of crazy um the next thing i have two little uh pockets in here this outside one and this inside one i use both this inside one now houses uh, this. I forgot which Alox this is. It says 2019 on it. I think I forgot which model this is, but it's got this little knife. It's got a file, right? And scissors, because I really wanted scissors. For some reason, I thought I needed scissors, and that's all it has. Uh, this is just cool. I also love to take pictures of this thing. This is more for gram worthy reasons I don't use it that much to be honest. I've had to like screw stuff with this um, I used that before and that was cool. I think I was building like, you know, some kind of Ikea shelf or something like that uh, The next pocket is gonna house this new Other Swiss Army knife that I have. It's a New York City. Uh, I think this is a classic and just check this out. Uh, this was sent in by Mild Mannered EDC. He said, this just screamed you, man, and I had to buy it for you. And I'm so touched that people do that, you know. What my favorite thing about this is probably um, this toothpick right here. Because <laughs> you can always use a toothpick. Uh, you got uh, tweezers here, right? And then, let's see what else you got. You also have scissors here. And you've got the knife and the file, just like on the other one. But this one has the added toothpick and stuff and the, uh, the tweezers. So let's put that down right there. Um, I always have a pen with me in case the pen runs out at the shop. You know, people have to sign for things. And uh, it's just always handy to have a pen. You know what I mean? When people need it. People usually don't have it. So this is a Paca pen, uh, kind of shaped similarly to the Fisher Space Pen, but it doesn't do all that cool shit like right in space or like upside down or whatever. But it is cheap and it is slim and very, you know, the carry is real easy, man. That's why I have that. Shout out to Paca pens. Uh, JT was the one who put me on to them. The last thing I have in here is this, uh, I think this is a recruit. If I'm not mistaken, I have the box somewhere, as you can see, or maybe you can't. The uh, tweezers are missing. I put it down and left them somewhere. <laughs> and I still have the uh, the toothpick here. You know, I've used that so many times. And um, this is this was given to me, actually, by Mrs. X. You know, <laughs> the, the girl you saw me with at the beginning of this channel. You know, I'm, I'm with the Kelly now. But uh, yeah, this is a cool one that I always carry because it's really been useful. For a long time, um, I've used it as a backup knife. I've used it as like uh, just to screw things in, you know, again, for like furniture that we were building for the shop and we didn't have any tools. And like this was basically the only tool that I needed, which is kind of crazy. You know, you got it's very snappy, though. Like, listen to this snap right here. It's a little too hard. Look at that. What? Yeah, chop people off and shit. But, you know, um, uh, I have my watch here. This is a Samsung Galaxy, I think, Gear S2 Frontier, maybe, is the model. And uh, let's see what else I got. Um, let's get into the other pocket here. I always have my keys, of course, keys to the shop, keys to my house, and it's on a chain. So I'm like a Massimo kid in the 90s. I have it like in the left front pocket. Ch chains are really useful, not only because they show you're a rebel, now I'm just playing, but uh, it's just handy. Like I don't want to lose my keys and I never do, and I never forget them because every day I have to remember to clip this on. And yo, you never know when you're gonna need these in a tussle. You know what I'm saying? And you have an excuse for carrying this. Um, it's just something useful. So that's uh, another one that I've got. Damn, that thing is loud, bro. Uh, I've got a wallet that I'm not going to show you the back of because my green card is there. There's a Travel Lambo wallet, and that's the slim wallet that I have. I wish I had a ridge, but I do not. And let's see what else I got in here. I got a comb. And I have one more thing that's interesting. Two more things, I think. Uh, I've got a lighter. I do smoke CBD joints, and this is very useful for just lighting things. And it's always good to be able to make fire. And I've got a Burt's Bees, like chapsticks. The lips always been getting chapped. I drink a lot of coffee. 
And you gotta fucking have that non chop chap lips, bro. You know? Even though now it doesn't matter because everyone's wearing a fucking face mask, right? <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video just to dive into my EDC a little bit. May have been boring, may have been not. Shout out to Mark H for asking the question in my comments. And uh, look, man, comment on the videos because something might interest me and I might just make a video about it. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.